Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included here in the Ultimate Base 4.0. In the previous episode we have taken care of establishing the geothermal power plant which is now our second source of power. No, technically our third source but it's the second source that we can provide like all the time. As I'm recording this it is my birthday so I'm gonna make this a really short episode and I hope you guys understand but I'm not really gonna be able to record for the next two days so I figured I make a short episode getting you up to date of what I've been doing and maybe also do some more stuff here on the main planetoid. For one, I drywalled all of this up. It is actually taking a little bit more material than I anticipated. If we spend 100 kilograms on each here, then we are still using tons and tons. So I switch between sedimentary rock and granite. I also finished this room right here with the Somnium synthesizer. We got the transit tube access point right here and we can also access the corridor and also go up if we need to. So one thing I figured we should establish is maybe another ranch right here. And I would like this to be the Plux Lock farm. In order to get into this room I figured we could either do it from below or the right side here but it might just be easier to give them access through this mechanized door. For that of course we first have to pump it out so I already set up a little gas pump here that is getting rid of all the gases and once that is done we should be able to open it up. We already have a few plug slugs here all we need is the usual machinery, like a grooming station. So I'm gonna possibly set that up right here. We're also gonna need some ladders here in order to be able to build everything. The room actually has the exact size that I need in order to make it count as a farm. And actually thinking about it, we will need access with a larger cable here. That actually sucks a little bit. Yeah, of course, once the plug slugs go to sleep, they would be sleeping here on the top. And then of course we want to harvest their power. So we would need a cable at least there. So maybe we can actually make this connection just go down here and go down there. This way we could do something along these lines and make sure that all the spots are covered. And then I think what I'm going to do is hook up the transit tube access point also to the large cable. So we can save a little bit on this cable and maybe use it for something else. I mean, we don't even have to use it for something else. It's already kind of busy. But maybe let's build the cables first and then get to it. I'm already going to build the joint plate here as well. I think that should be possible with just losing minimal amounts of gases. However, if we do this, we will need a little bit more oxygen to keep pushing against the hydrogen. Uh, right now, though, we are slightly over pressure. Hmm, maybe we get away with it, but I might have to mess around here with the oxygen a little bit. So yeah, we can see we did not lose too much, maybe a little bit of hydrogen. Let's just wait for the rest of the polluted oxygen to get out of the way here, and then we can open this up again. By the way, we're also going to be needing a critter drop-off point that I'm going to put right here and also a critter feeder. Now we possibly want to do this automatically so my dupe doesn't always have to fill this. So this is the conveyor loader that actually brings everything to the second planetoid. We could then possibly have another conveyor loader and we hop over here, go down there and over here. And don't get me wrong, I mean, we do have the duplicant labor, just if we can do it automatically, then why the heck not, right? And by automatically, I mean that the dupes can just put it in here into the conveyor loader and be done with it. Is this going to be worth it though? Actually, I'm going to wait with that. We can always still establish that later on. Let's just see how it goes and if it really takes away too much dupe labor. Until then, what we can do do is have a storage in its place and we're also gonna take this to the next level by adding two auto sweepers that are able to reach all of the spots in order to pick up the eggs. So we still want a conveyor loader somewhere along these lines and I guess all we want to do with this is connect it with this guy. That makes sense. We could also go straight up if we wanted to. Hmm, what makes more sense? Yeah, maybe I go through the fish. Yeah, that's gonna be fine, but I'm gonna be using a bridge right there. Then all we need to do is hook this up to power and we should be fine. This is already a cable that still comes from a transformer here at the bottom. And of course, another thing we will want to do is tile this all up with some drywall. Now I'm actually down to 15 tons of granite. We might want to bring some along from other planetoids. I think in the future we might want to adjust our cooling loop so it counts for everything here inside the ranch. And to do that, we can simply go straight down here and then maybe lead the cooling loop through the machinery. So add a bunch of aluminium pipes like so probably. And then the question is, do we want to do this with the fish tank as well? Probably. So let's switch to insulated pipes again. And then right here, switch to radiant pipes again. 
and right here switch to insulated again now i have full control over the parts that i want to cool down we can even just move up in this spot and then move over connect up with this guy and this is going to make the upper portion here obsolete once we have completed the loop but maybe let's first build the pipes and then make sure the loop goes into that direction the air is also constantly thinning thanks to the pump here and also the access to space so all of the gases are slowly but surely getting away this of course also means all the machinery outside isn't safe anymore as it's just gonna overheat with no gases nearby to cool them down okay come on this has to be it now we're down to five micrograms this is usually the place where we lose the gases oh, okay finally they are gone we can open up this door um should we just open it no we we should set it to auto. I might be able to replace it with a normal pneumatic door. Let me actually check. This room now is 96 tiles exactly. So I cannot really change the shape too much. But what happens if I have the door right here? Then I would have to open up two spaces. We could do that at the bottom, but that also looks stupid. And right now I already have a distribution for my auto sweepers. So yeah, let's forget about that. The door placement should be okay. I just want to keep it closed so the fish don't escape into the wrong direction oh, no 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 the pump should stop just stop oh my gosh now of course we're filling this up with oxygen and theoretically if the hydrogen pushes down here a little bit we just need to fill the room with more oxygen but it looks like we had a little bit of an overpressure with 2700 grams or so so maybe now with this distribution it's not going to be that bad but we will have to have this open a little bit or we just replace it with a pneumatic door which might be easier there it is pneumatic door and now the oxygen can flow in I just love how this goes. Uh, okay, yeah, we might have to add more oxygen. We're already down to 1,800 grams here at the bottom, and it's still going to be going down more. Oh, actually, that is not good, and this guy is now confined. What happens if I open up this door? Will they even mind? I mean, there's not going to be any water here on the left side, and they are drawn to the water, right? So I'm just going to put that to the test. Yeah, at least this guy is going into the right spot. How many do we have in here? 42. Yeah, I had a little bit of a hiccup probably. This means we can now probably also risk setting up this guy here and then replacing... Come on, heavy watt wire, this guy. Now, I really hope we can place this heavy watt conductive joint plate without getting hydrogen down into the lower room. I mean, it would just occupy the upper two tiles, but still, it would bother me slightly. Whoa, 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 body temperature? What's happening? Wait, it's nine degrees here. Ah, so I'm getting it. We're getting the dirt from the second planetoid, which is actually cold. Very interesting, but this should theoretically heat up pretty quickly since the water here is at a cozy 20 degrees. Still, up to this point, I only had troubles with the dirt being too hot and not too cold. And look at that, we did it. But hydrogen is being pushed down. Yeah, we need oxygen. Let's just grab it from here temporarily. Actually, we might be able to just hijack this pipe. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna hijack this pipe and bring it down right here with a high gas pressure vent. Now, it might be better to have it go directly into the lower room. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take myself the time to do that. And then we can give this some proper oxygen again. Now, of course, what we could do is also have the cooling loop run through the pass directly. This would probably affect them the quickest. And we could technically do that by going down here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that going down and then up again at this point. Very good. Everyone is helping. Let's maybe build the critter drop off point so we can already get some of these plug slugs. Now, I might actually have to build some ladders. They sometimes play hard to catch. Especially because I cannot really reach this part with the printing pot. I had to cut it off. We can still reach the items that drop on the floor, but we cannot technically go here. So the dupes don't do that. But yeah, we can still go ahead and wrangle up the plug slugs that we already have. There is even an egg that we might want to get. And as long as they are kind of on this side, we should be able to easily get them. Otherwise, we're going to build this ladder to get them down below, where they mostly spend their time while sleeping. Good. Critter drop-off point is in place. Let's see. We wrangled up this guy. So Amari should soon spring into action. And this should now also count as a stable, of course. 
Wonderful. Now, once we get rid of this gas pump, I'm gonna replace it with an incubator. And also, this critter drop off point, let's auto wrangle surplus and put it to six critters. This is gonna allow me to have an incubator inside of the stable and not cram these guys. Now, the incubator is gonna come with the same system. So, we're just gonna hook this up to a timer sensor and some automation wire. As for the conveyor loader, we pretty much wanna pick up everything and then just don't allow manual use maybe even put it to a very low priority so the eggs that are being picked up by this guy are first going into the incubator and the rest of the eggs are gonna go into my system yeah i think they can also drown right so they should go into my drowning system in which I currently only have the glossy draglets. Is this really the case? How do I even get them in there? I totally forgot. There is a conveyor loader right here. No, this one is hopping over. Ah, I see. The eggs are actually coming from my storage system right here. So it should be this conveyor loader. And indeed, we are doing the draglet eggs and the glossy draglets. So that means as of this point, we also want to do the slug eggs, at least the ones that land in the storage system. The other one should be used for the incubator and then right in this storage bin we're gonna have some refined metal cobalt and gold for the most part incubator let me see we need the slug eggs incubate that i also have the incubator at priority nine so once we activate it armari is gonna come and do the deed as quickly as possible i'm just gonna copy over the setting here for the timer sensor good everything here on the top has been built except well we still have to make this connection now i can do it well give me that cable right there and we get rid of this good now time to hijack the pipe like i said i would let's cancel this for now and there or cut it and we connect the oxygen pipe that should do the trick i don't really want to do too much but like this oxygen here needs to go hmm. oh no i actually lost all the oxygen you can't do that to me so in this case, I might actually have to introduce some oxygen here on the top as well. So it settles down again. But like right now, I have a thousand three hundred or so grams. I just want to let in a little bit here. Okay, that might already be enough. I'm just going to let this go in. And then we have some more now going here. And that might also already be enough. Let's not exaggerate it. Actually, let me cut it right here and there in order to see what's going on. And then we might have to make some corrections. But this is already looking good. I think I could save it. And now we have a little bit of hydrogen here, but I wouldn't mind this. It actually looks really good. Yeah, I think I'm gonna not allow this in. This is just gonna be connected again. Uh, actually, we need to dump it. That's totally fine. I'm just gonna go ahead and dump it into space like so. Wonderful. Let's get rid of this again. And I think with that, we can successfully introduce the new stables. I just wonder where are my plug slugs? Why didn't that take? Yeah, wrangle them again. One plug slug totally disappeared. Yeah, honestly, I don't really know. Amari relocating critter. Okay, at least now he's doing something. Maybe I just have to watch them and then they're behaving right. Now, this critter feeder, I'm gonna disallow manual use because it just doesn't have enough capacity. The auto sweepers can take care of that together with the storage bin. So the dupes are gonna fill up the storage bin and then here for the plug slugs, I want to have some cobalt or gold. Actually, let's decide for one. We're gonna go with the cobalt for the Plux locks and forget about the gold. Yes, of course. Now we are getting more hydro. Oh, jeez. I knew this would happen. I just forgot about uh, setting this up properly. So now we will be getting some hydrogen since we feed them. And that simply means we need to allow the hydrogen to move up through these airflow tasks here. Once we detect a certain amount of hydrogen, we can probably pump it out just with a mini gas pump, to be honest. And I would like this to be right here and we need to detect when it's time to do that with a let me see atmo sensor probably and we can have that right here hmm maybe there is good when we detect a certain amount of pressure then we want to pump the hydrogen out the extra hydrogen that we're getting now hold your horses i might want to do it through a single airflow tile honestly if i open this up i'm gonna be in a heap of trouble but it might be advantageous to replace this guy so we have a little bit more airflow now we could also replace some of these tiles so the hydrogen flows up naturally but when the doors here are open i think think yeah i think it's gonna be fine just having the pump here the hydrogen eventually is gonna find a way up for now i don't really know what to do with the hydrogen so i'm just gonna lead it out there 
It's gonna be fine. And then we already have it hooked up to power. That's good. I'm also gonna have a secondary critter drop off point with a lower priority for the block slots. So as soon as they are too many and we need to auto wrangle one, because let's say we already have the six block slots and then we get another one with the incubator, then we have too many. We need to auto wrangle one and they would be brought over here where I can conveniently kill it. However, most of the block slots are just gonna go into the storage system where we're gonna deal with with it in some way or the other. Now if I open up these two tiles this should give me access to the things that are at the bottom here and therefore we will already have an egg to actually incubate. Now the problem is still I'm missing the third plug slug that just disappeared. No idea where it went. I made a slight mistake. This should not be allow manual use of course. I only want the auto sweepers to take advantage of it. Ah okay so if I have this door open the plug slugs are also gonna utilize this room and of course that is not good get back in the room we're gonna put this door back to auto and oh gosh are you serious do you prefer this small little tiny room just get away from there oh my gosh i don't believe it these guys are just insane let's wrangle you up again i should really make meat out of you okay now they are in the correct room and they can roam around and hopefully of course also give me the proper eggs now we will also get other types of eggs the smog eggs and the sponge eggs probably and for the time being i think i'm just gonna go ahead and cook them up so smog slug eggs Eggs. we're gonna cook those forever and i don't think i've ever had a sponge slug just yet but yeah here we go i think this is gonna go well let's just wait for the first night right now they are let me see groomed wild ah they're still wild so they're not gonna produce quite as much power but you know we're getting there and of course since we never really fill up the jumbo batteries then during the nights the plug slugs can really get to work and there's gonna be no power wasted we're just gonna fill this up as much as possible Possible. But yeah, with that out of the way, I'm actually out of time. We are still not done with this room. I think I want to fill this up with a bunch of gas reservoirs to be able to store even more of that. And it looks like we cannot quite reach this. This is unfortunate. Let's get another ladder layer in the joint. But yeah, I have to say, things are now slowly but surely taking shape. We're using up more and more of the space and we will soon be done with this planetoid, taking care of the other planetoids. From the looks of it, the hotel is going gonna be on the water planetoid i'm actually looking forward to that i was kind of hoping you would vote for that now we might get into issues when it comes to pressure so i might not be able to keep the entire ocean in the joint but we could do some ocean themed hotel and then kind of pretend with an ocean layer and a fish tank around to uh, have it submerged but yeah with that out of the way i'm gonna wrap it up for today's episode let me just check the plug slugs yeah they are now sleeping. How much power are you producing? Just the 400. So it's going to be 1,200 or 1,600 even. And we should have way more than enough metal to keep this up for a long time. But with that out of the way, thank you so much for watching. Have a great time. And hopefully I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.